Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at five cool Windows 11 features you must know about and use on your system. These are pretty cool little features that can really sort of enhance your experience on Windows 11. Now I've covered Power Toys before on Windows and I just wanted to touch on it again because it's had some updates done to it and some new features and programs added to it. The first one is Always on Top, which is a pretty cool feature once it's enabled. You can see the shortcut here, Windows Control T will enable this feature. Now there is a shortcut key, which is the Windows Control T key, and you can just toggle this on and off whenever you need to. So let me just show you how this works basically. So we've got Calculator open here, and to enable the feature, you would use that shortcut, which is the Windows Control T. You push all those together, and it will put a blue outline around the outside of the item that you want to always show on top of the screen. In this case, we've got the calculator. So if I open up a bunch of boxes and applications, you're going to see that calculator is always being forced to the front or on top of all of these applications. And this can be very useful if you want to always have this item on the top of the screen. And you can use any item that you want and you can highlight any item and put the always on top for that item. It's very simple. You can see calculator is always on top here. So let me show you another item here so you can just see that it just doesn't work with a calculator so you can get an idea. So let's just do it for, say for instance, uh, the notepad here and I'll highlight notepad so you can see that it works for all items. And this can be especially useful for people using one monitor as well that want to bring an item to the forefront so they can always use that item without it being buried at the background. So let's move on to the next one, which is Power Toys uh, Run. Now this is very useful. You can use the Alt and Space key on your keyboard to bring this up and you can do a quick search for anything you like on the internet, maybe do a web search for something and it really is useful. Let me quickly show you basically how this works here. So by pushing the Alt and Space key on your keyboard and then you can do a search for whatever you like. Let me just search for brightechcomputers.co.uk and it will open up this page instantly just like this without opening up a browser. Very, very cool. So it's very good for people that like to use the run command where you can quickly type stuff in and get quick search results for it. So let me just show you another one here. Let me just do this one here. Bright Tech YouTube and push enter and up will come a link for Bright Tech YouTube. Very simple and easy to do. So let's go on to the next one, which is video conference mute. Now this will basically mute uh, the camera and microphone here, or you can just mute the microphone or you can mute the camera. So if you're in a conference meeting and you want to mute one of these items, you can do by using either of these shortcuts. And uh, it's very quick and easy to do for people that want to quickly uh, take control of, say for instance, the microphone camera when they're having a conference uh, meeting and they want to just mute either of these. So very quick and easy to do. And when you push these keys, they will show up on the screen. As you can see here up on the top right, it's muted the microphone. And to enable it again, you would just use the same command and same shortcut, and it will basically enable it again. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is mouse utilities. Inside here, we've got some mouse utilities which we can use. And I'm going to use the shake mouse here. And you can enable these features to whatever you like, appearance and behavior, and loads of other bits and pieces you can add into it as well. So you can use this shortcut here, Windows Shift and H, and this will uh, bring up the uh, mouse utility that you want to use. And there's a bunch of them inside here. You can see mouse highlighter, and we've also got a uh, mouse uh, pointer, crosshair as well. And we've also got some other ones in here. So let's take a look at how this works so you can see uh, what they've uh, brought in. So you can see here, it does a nice little fade in we've got a little highlighter here and because I've got it to shake basically shake the mouse and it will bring up the highlighter just like this here so this can be useful for people that are partially sighted or maybe uh, someone wants to have a highlighter on it because they want to highlight something whatever reason you want to use that it's quite useful and we also have the other one here which is enable mouse pointer crosshairs and we also have a bunch of other bits and pieces in here which we can mess around with as well so whatever you want to do with this, this is a new feature they've added in uh, to the uh, tool section of Power Toys. So let's quickly take a look at the highlighter again here for the left click and right click. 
you can set this up to different types of mouse um, highlighters here. So for instance, I've got it set to default, which is yellow and blue. Left click will be yellow and the blue will be for the right click. So you can see here when you click on things, it will give you a yellow uh, circle and you can change the size of the circle and you can change how long it stays on for. And you can also uh, do a lot of other stuff like the fade and things like that and change all that sort of stuff. I'll show you that in a second. But basically, this is going to be very useful for tutorials and people that want to instruct people to show them where to click. It will highlight a little bit more easier on the um, cursor on the screen here. So when you click on things, it does make it a lot more easier. Now, if you want some control over it, you can also come down to the section where it says uh, appearance and behavior. And this is where you can change your color scheme to whatever you like. So if you're partially color blinded or whatever it may be, you may change the colors here. And again, you can change a lot of this stuff like the opacity and things like that inside there and the radius size of it as well. So you can see what it is. And this is great for people that are partially sighted and they can't see. And you may want to make that a big, a bit bigger and make it a certain color that you can pick up on so you can see the actual cursor. Very useful for those sorts of uh, situations. OK, so let's move on to another one here, which is your notepad. When you open up notepad, uh, we can actually do speech to text here. And this is very useful. You can also change the dark mode to light mode, whatever it is you want to on Notepad. Now, there's also tabs coming as well in the future. But let me show you this feature here, which is pretty awesome. This is so accurate, it's pretty scary. So what you need to do is push Windows and H and say exactly what you want to say. So as you can see, this is a test for the speech to text inside notepad now this is very accurate by just turning this feature on by using the windows and h key and this will just turn on this feature now you will need to make sure that you've got uh, this feature enabled in your windows settings but you can see here it works pretty well so basically you're dictating to a document where it's actually putting down all of your words what you say into a text format and if you're not a good speller, it takes care of all that for you. And it's a really awesome feature. And I use it quite a lot. So let's move on to the next feature here, which is pretty good, which is basically going into settings and multitasking here. And we're going to enable the uh, feature here, which is basically going to allow us to shake the window uh, when we want to uh, put everything to the taskbar and bring to the forefront the window that we want to keep up on the screen. So if you're one of these people that has loads of windows open like this and you want to control it, all you need to do is hold on to the one you want to keep and then shake it and all the other ones will be put into the taskbar, which is really super easy. So if you've got a load of windows open that you're working on and you don't want to lose them, all you need to do is hold on to the window that you want to take control of and keep up on the screen and just shake it like so. And it will basically put all the others back down there. Very cool little feature. And I love this feature. It is turned off and uh, you will need to turn this feature on if you want to use it. Now, the drag and drop to the taskbar has been fixed, as you can see here. That has been fixed in Windows 11, and there's a bunch of other new features coming for Windows 11. If you want to see videos like that, then let me know in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to make those videos for you and give you updates on Windows 11 and some of the new features that are coming out in the future. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate it. And uh, some of the people's names are running up on the screen right now who have joined my tier two uh, YouTube members group. I appreciate it. And a big shout out to Welsh Tony one who joined my tier three YouTube members group. I really do appreciate that support. Have a nice day and I shall see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.